I think the catch well, in talking with the grounds maintenance people in the past, uh, one of the gentlemen had worked here for almost 30 years and he said there's always been cats on campus. So uh, they have a, a long history of being here. It's just that over the years, the population kept expanding and it got to where they were worried about the cats uh, developing diseases. Whenever I arrived in 2012, um, every time it rained, uh, kittens were washed out of window wells, out of drain pipes. We had cats everywhere. And um, Corey Ruff, the executive director of facilities, decided that we should have a feral cat program. And so it began in 2012 with um, the HVAC department actually setting traps and trapping the cats. And in conjunction with the prevent program here on campus. Dr. Henry and his students So, uh, what, what we do is we have maintenance set up live traps the night before surgery, and then the morning of surgery we collect the cats, and students that are members of the pre-veterinary club and I go out uh, to Deering Veterinary Clinic where I work, and uh, we anesthetize the cats, and then of course the females we spay them, and the males we neuter. And so uh, after we do the surgery, we bring the cats back on campus, and after they've recovered from the anesthetic, we turn them loose back where they came from. We've also, we also give them rabies vaccines, which is really important in this area, since there are so many wild animals that can also share campus with these feral cats, that we're making sure that these feral cats aren't getting rabies as well. Maintenance tells me that uh, before we started the program, they had seen anywhere from 8 to 12 litters of kittens born every spring and every fall. And this semester we've caught two cats. So uh, in the five years that we've been doing the program, we've done approximately 140 cats. So I, I think we've uh, kind of caught up and uh, are, are maintaining the population. Something I think that's really important to know about the cats, they are not pets, they are feral. Um, a lot of them do not do well with human interaction. When it gets cold outside, they will be fine. They are outdoor animals, they know how to take care of themselves outside. Please do not bring them into any buildings, please do not feed them on your own. It runs the entire TNR program if you feed the cats on your own just because they won't be going to our feeding stations, they're less likely to walk into the traps so we can't spay and neuter them as readily. Um, so just pretty much let them live their lives and kind of live parallel to them. Um, they won't bother you if you don't bother them.